Planet Dolan. From whether flying fish really fly to how every animal is different, we answer 10 of your most burning questions about animals. Hello there. My name is Shima, and I'll be reading out the questions and answers. What's up, everybody? It's Critical. I'm here to imbue my wisdom all over you like a gentle summer breeze. Let's do this. <coughs> How is it that every animal is different? Before any animal enters into this world, its soul carefully spins the wheel of luck to find out what form it will take for the rest of eternity. Some are lucky, such as the glorious tree sloth master race, while others do not fare quite so favorably. Every animal being different is what we call biodiversity. Throughout the evolution of life, new species emerged and filled different places and functions within their environments. Certain traits became stronger in some animals, running or swimming fast, and weaker in others, making them evolve differently. Do flying fish really fly? Of course they do, but we call them seagulls. These seagulls are pretty much just fish with wings and a strap-on beak that hound you at beaches and eat all your chips. They don't really fly, but they do glide through the air on special fins. In order for flying fish to fly to get away from predators, they can swim up to 40 miles per hour, almost 65 kilometers per hour, near the top of the water and then glide away. Why do dolphins make so many sounds? Every time you use the toilet, all that delicious bodily waste that you flush down ends up in the ocean right where the dolphins live, and the noises they make are actually complaints about the situation. Ah, jeez! Thanks, man! Keep it, keep it coming! Don't mind me, I'm just a dumb, stinky dolphin! <laughs> Dolphins use whistle-like sounds to keep them in contact with each other and communicate as they travel and eat. They also direct clicks into their surroundings to echolocate or scan for food. Dolphins create all of these sounds in their nasal passages, just below their blowhole. What do frogs eat? They'll feed on your baby brother or sister if you're not looking after them when your parents ask you to. That bulbousy chin thing frogs do is just the infant trying to escape. It's alright though, just distract the frog with baby-sized toys and it'll leave you alone. Frogs are carnivores, which means they eat other animals. They mostly eat insects, but big frogs may eat fish, small birds, reptiles, and even other frogs. And babies. No, no babies. Do vampire bats really drink blood? They do, but only because doctors release them from the hospitals to hunt people down who don't donate blood when they ask you to. How else is poor little sick Timmy supposed to get a blood transfusion? Yeah, that's me. Uh, I'm little Timmy. <laughs> Give me your blood! Yes, they do, but try not to think of them as blood-sucking monsters. Vampire bats are shy creatures and a lot more afraid of you than you are of them. They live in the southern U.S. and in the forests of Central and South America, and to the horses, cattle, and other livestock they usually feed on, they're more like mosquitoes than monsters. What's the fastest animal on Earth? Don't underestimate the inconceivable speed of the common land snail especially when you incentivize it with a delicious, mouth-watering food pellet. And don't be upset just because they're naturally superior to us in every way. The peregrine falcon has been known to dive at speeds in excess of 217 miles per hour, almost 350 kilometers per hour. They do this so they can catch and kill other birds for food. They circle high in the sky and tuck in their wings to dive down on smaller birds, turning themselves into bird missiles. What's the slowest animal on Earth? A pet rock. I asked a rock to fetch a stick around two days ago, but uh, oh no, no no no, it's too good for that. Well, sorry if it's cutting into your busy rock schedule. You know what my mistake was? I didn't book an appointment with the rock. No 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 no, please don't hurt me. The sloth, especially the three-toed sloth, is the slowest animal around. Their legs and feet are shaped to hang from trees, so it's very hard for them to walk on the ground. It would take a month for a sloth to walk a mile. I'll race your rock with my sloth. You're on. What's the difference between a turtle and a tortoise? When a turtle reaches one year of age, it'll retreat into its shell for a long time and eventually emerge in the evolved form of tortoise. Through this transformation, they gain knowledge in the ancient Japanese martial arts of Judo, Jiu-Jitsu, as well as Korean Taekwondo. They aren't ninjas, though, because that would be completely ridiculous. Despite being part of the same family, called Testidines, the tortoise is designed for land as opposed to the turtle, which spends much more of its time in the water. A tortoise's shell is thicker and has a larger dome, where a turtle's shell is flatter and more streamlined for swimming. Do fish ever get thirsty? Yes. In fact, fish drink so much water that we're starting to run out of it. 
One day, all the taps in your home will stop working, and your parents might try to convince you it's because they haven't paid the water bills, but in reality, the fish have finally won, and it's just time for us to leave. They typically don't because freshwater fish actually absorb water through their skin. However, saltwater fish drink heaps of it because they actually lose water through their skin and gills, and there's a risk of dehydration if they don't. Do animals ever help each other? Yes, but only when you aren't looking. Dogs will take aside its cat friend to show it a hole in the backyard fence they can escape through, Birds will inform a mice family about a mutual rat friend that successfully crossed the country's border, and a lizard will wait perfectly still, a silent vigil to protect the caterpillar a human so heartlessly offered it to as food. Many different species, kinds of animals, have developed partnerships that benefit both species. For example, many kinds of animals love to eat the fruit provided by trees. In turn, the trees rely on these animals to spread their seeds around the forest. However, there are some cases where both species depend on each other so much that if one goes extinct or dies out, so will the other. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a cool one! So what did you think of our guest VO Critical? Did a pretty good job, I think. Uh, we're also gonna have help in on soon, but you didn't hear that from me. <gasps> Look! T-shirts, more T-shirts are on sale. There are links down below. Click them. Derp, 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 derp. See so you. Yeah, have a good